Kiki Palmer kicks off a very busy summer as one of the voices in the Toy Story spinoff, Lightyear. To infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? The actress tells people what it was like joining the Disney Pixar universe. I think Lightyear and I think Disney Pixar, that, that whole animation combo uh, is definitely something that I've not poignantly manifested, but like in the atmosphere as far as, you know, all the animated work I've done and my how my love for animation has grown uh, since, you know, a teenager when I started doing it to now, I feel like, yeah, it was all a, a part of the plan, I hope. Back in the day, they had uh, Toy Story merch, um, and I remember having a Buzz Lightyear spaceship as a kid, like the okay. old one from, you know, the, the late 90s, early 2000s. So I'm excited to, to actually, you know, be playing a character that has her own action figure. Kiki also stars in one of the season's most buzzed about releases, Jordan Peele's latest thriller, Nope. Yeah, no, no, no. She admits that she first reached out to the acclaimed director on Instagram. I definitely did slide into his DMs, but Jordan is like much to be expected, not on Instagram all day, noon and night, so he never even saw that direct message. And I'm sure his DMs are overflowing with messages from other, you know, actors yeah. trying to like get an opportunity <laughs> to uh, be able to experience what it's like to work with him. Um, but I worked with him once when I was 17 on Key & Peele. If you don't let me go to this party, I will get a tattoo on my face. Have fun. And I okay. guess from that relationship and I guess uh, him continuing to, to see my work uh, is what manifested my opportunity with Nope. With a growing empire that also includes hosting gigs, music, and books, Kiki doesn't see any boundaries to her creativity. You know what? I, my only master plan is to be able to continue to grow and evolve as an entertainer. I love storytelling. I love being creative. Um, I love all of all of this stuff. And so I think every time that I learn more, I just find different ways to explore myself in those corners. Uh, because you never want to get stagnant, or you know, things do get boring or stale. Uh, but my love and my passion for Creating never dies, so I'm just always looking for di different aspects and corners that I can, um, you know, grow in. You know, definitely directing and producing are, are places that I'm very excited to explore even more. Kiki says her go-getter attitude comes from her biggest cheerleader, her mom. I learned you always gotta seize the day, uh, but like, like I say, you know, it's also there's a respectful way to go about it because I think people just assume like, oh well, you know, when I see, uh, you know, uh, Will Smith walking down the street, I need to go and pitch him my script right then and there, and it's like, okay, maybe not like that because that's still, you know you're enroaching on someone's face and right. that's still something that you know you have to learn the balance of like yes seize the day but also know there's a time and there's a place so it's about connecting that persistence with also work ethic making sure that you're, you're able to back up what it is you're saying and you're able to step in and, and be of service when the time may be fit but also know when it's time to just watch and, and, and listen and learn and not be so aggressive because that's that's also the balance as well. Kiki is very active on social media, and the former child star thinks it's an important way for fans to get to know her off the screen. Being a public figure in a lot of ways because of the career path I chose, I just want people to know that it's like, you know, it's not always gonna be perfect, everything's not gonna always be right, you know, it, life is not an easy one, two, three thing. It doesn't come with a rule book, um, especially as it pertains to mental health and the kind of world we're in now where constantly outside of ourselves, you know, and, and, and hope, you know, this is who I am on social media and this is what I look like and this is the validation that I'm seeking. And so I think it's just for me, and it's like my own personal activism of saying, you know what, I'm a human being at the end of the day. And yes, I'm an entertainer, but this isn't all who I am. And I just want to be me. For more on Kiki Palmer, pick up this week's issue of People on Newsstands Friday.